Welcome to Medical Specialists Associates Educational Series on Topics in Critical Care Medicine. I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, FCCP, Board Certified in Anesthesiology, Critical Care Medicine, Neurocritical Care Medicine, and Critical Care Echocardiography. This educational video covers the management of alcohol withdrawal syndrome using our phenobarbital protocol. This protocol is particularly relevant for patients at high risk of benzodiazepine treatment failure or those who have already failed benzodiazepine therapy. In this video, we will discuss the protocol in detail and explore why phenobarbital might be a superior option for treating alcohol withdrawal syndrome compared to benzodiazepines. Purpose The purpose of this protocol is to provide a structured approach to using phenobarbital in managing alcohol withdrawal syndrome particularly in ICU settings where patients are at a high risk of failing benzodiazepine treatment. Patient Eligibility There are two main categories of patients who may benefit from phenobarbital in alcohol withdrawal syndrome management. 1. High risk for benzodiazepine failure. This includes patients presenting with severe withdrawal symptoms such as significant autonomic instability, tachycardia, hypertension a history of withdrawal seizures or delirium tremens who have not adequately responded to benzodiazepines or are expected to require large doses. 2. Benzodiazepine treatment failure Defined as the failure to achieve adequate symptom control despite escalating doses of benzodiazepines. This is indicated by persistently high CWA scores, severe complications like withdrawal seizures or delirium tremens, or the need for large benzodiazepine doses without significant clinical improvement. Dosing and Administration The protocol recommends the following dosing regimen for phenobarbital based on ideal body weight. Loading Dose for benzodiazepine-naive patients, administer phenobarbital at 5 mg per kg IV over 30 minutes. For patients who have failed benzodiazepine treatment, administer phenobarbital at 5 to 10 mg per kg IV over 30 minutes. Maintenance Dosing After initial stabilization, administer phenobarbital 130 mg IV every 4 to 6 hours titrated to symptom control. Adjust dosing based on clinical response, aiming to keep CWA scores below 15. Consider tapering the dose as symptoms improve, typically over 48 to 72 hours. Monitoring and safety. Continuous monitoring is crucial for patients receiving phenobarbital, including monitoring of vital signs, oxygen saturation, and cardiac rhythm. Frequent assessments of neurological status, including sedation levels and respiratory effort, are also necessary to ensure patient safety. Why phenobarbital? Phenobarbital is considered a superior agent for managing alcohol withdrawal syndrome in certain patients due to its multiple advantages over benzodiazepines. 1. Broader Mechanism of Action Phenobarbital enhances GABA activity while also inhibiting glutamate, addressing both excitatory and inhibitory imbalances in the brain during alcohol withdrawal. 2. Longer half-life. Phenobarbital has a longer half-life compared to benzodiazepines, providing more stable and prolonged symptom control, reducing the need for frequent dosing. 3. Reduced need for mechanical ventilation. Studies have shown that phenobarbital, when used alongside or as a substitute for benzodiazepines, can reduce the need for mechanical ventilation in patients with severe alcohol withdrawal syndrome. These factors make phenobarbital a valuable alternative, especially in patients who do not respond well to benzodiazepines or require very high doses to achieve symptom control. In conclusion, phenobarbital is an effective option for managing alcohol withdrawal, particularly in patients at high risk of benzodiazepine treatment failure. By following this protocol, Healthcare providers can ensure safer and more effective management of alcohol withdrawal syndrome in these challenging cases. To learn more about critical care medicine, please visit us on our website at www.medspecialists.net and subscribe to our YouTube channel.